Vulnerability is not about winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen. Vulnerability is not a weakness. It is the greatest measure of strength. Brene Brown. It is hard to do stories in general. But you know what's harder? It's telling a story about ourselves. Personal stories can be frightening, even daunting, which is exactly why in this week's episode of Master Talk, I'm going to teach you how to present a personal story. Hi everyone, Brandon here from Master Talk on your go-to channel to mastering your talk. And today we're talking personal stories. So let's get personal. Number one, get comfortable presenting easy, relatable personal stories so you can get warmed up to the idea. The first thing I'll say around personal stories is this. You don't need to talk about deep, dark secrets in your life. You don't have to bring up trauma. Personal story simply means something that's happened in your life that other people can relate to. That's it. I'll give you my most common one, which I call the blueberry story. So the blueberry story goes something like this. Most days when I'm at home and I live with my mother and sister, I work 14 to 16 hours a day. I'm crazy. So how do I still have such a great relationship with my family? Well, every time that I go upstairs to grab blueberries from the fridge, I always ask my mom and my sister if they want blueberries first before I take any. And that is why the small things matter in any relationship. So notice how with this story, it's nothing crazy. I'm not talking about my deep, dark secrets, but you can relate to that story. The blueberry story tells you something about me. It tells you something about my character and who I am. So when you go back to the things that are happening in your life, start with something easy too and build yourself up. Build that muscle like how you go to the gym every single day. Number two, explaining your stories is good, but living through the emotions of that story is what makes it exceptional. When you present a personal story the first time, generally what happens is you go through the facts. This is what happened with my kid. They were at the park, they refused to leave, and after three hours, I finally got them to go home. So we go through the facts, what actually happened. But if you want to level up your personal story, just talk about the emotions you went through at every single part of the story. Here's a quick example. I remember sitting on my park bench, looking at my seven-year-old girl who was kicking and screaming and didn't want to leave the park. I felt so stressed out because I had a date night with my husband and I needed to get her home. So you can imagine how quickly I ran to her, how much I negotiated so I can finally get her to come home. And I remember the sigh of relief that I felt when I finally convinced her. So notice how in this example, when I simply explain, and of course I'm not married or I have kids by the way, but notice how when I explain the emotions that I go through in that story, it relates to people a lot more. So always think about the emotion. And the other piece to that point is you'll be surprised how many people come up to you and say, that happened to me yesterday. I can totally relate to that. So don't be shy to share the emotion, the details, and make it as easy as possible for yourself and the people you're sharing your message with. And finally, number three, you control the stories you want to tell and don't let anyone take that away from you. What's fun about some of the best speakers in the world is they have completely different styles with how they share personal stories. When we take somebody like Seth Godin, his stories are detailed, they're emotional, but they're not very personal. He doesn't share that much about his family or his personal life. But if you compare that to somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk, he's actually very open about his family and Lewis Houses too. Everyone has different approaches and styles. And the reason I bring up these speakers is to drive this point home, which is you are in the driver's seat. 
And don't let anyone take that away from you. You get to choose the stories you want to tell and in the way you want to share them. So what I would encourage you to do is before you start sharing personal stories, especially the ones that are a bit more challenging for you personally, is sit down with yourself and just ask yourself, what is your intention? Why do you want to share this story? What impact do you want to make? And more importantly, how do you want to share that personal story in a way that you're comfortable with? And somebody like Seth Godin is going to come up with a different answer than Brene Brown or any other speaker. But once you figure out what works for you, it's going to be a lot easier for you to share your story vulnerably, openly, and in the way you want to drive it. As Brene taught us, vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. So use your personal stories as a way to make yourself relatable to everyone around you, to build connection and rapport with the people you seek to serve. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And if you know one person who needs to get better with their personal stories, send them this video so that they'll be one step closer to getting a bit more personal. Take care.